I like soup all year round. Any day of the year, soup is delicious. So this can be for lunch, this can be for dinner, you can throw it in the fridge and have it for leftovers. And I love to use all of these flavors. We're gonna use a mixture of coconut milk and chicken broth, a little bit of soy, some fresh ginger. So we're gonna start with just the base of our soup. So we're gonna start with just a block of ginger. You can find these at any grocery store. And how to cook, cook ginger, you just wanna kinda cut one side of it just to kind of expose um, the real inside of the ginger part. So we're gonna cut off all of the skin. After we get all of the skin off, we're gonna take a little microplane and just kind of grade this ginger right into a sauce pot. So my sauce pot is hot here. We're just gonna put in a little bit of oil and then we're just gonna kind of grate this ginger right in here. And ginger's really great for digestion. So. Anytime you have digestion issues, stomach issues, this would be a really good thing to add. And then we're gonna put some jalapenos in. So I just diced up one jalapeno here. We'll throw that in. And the jalapenos, the spicy part of the jalapeno is gonna be the seeds. So we removed the seeds. We just chopped it up into really nice small pieces. And then we're gonna add the base of our soup, which just is our broth. Throw that right in. So this is about four cups of broth, just one quart container. So four cups. And then the fun part is the coconut milk. This is what's gonna add a lot of flavor. It'll make this soup very creamy. I like to say this is a gourmet ramen noodle style soup. So I like to just get the organic coconut milk, just the classic. You could use the light if you don't want it so thick. You'll find that some of the thick coconut part will form on the top. That's okay, you just kind of stir everything in. The top part is really just um, the hardened coconut fat. And you could actually make a whipped cream out of it and just blend it with a blender with a little vanilla extract and you have a nice healthy whipped cream. So coconut milk is very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with that. So we're just gonna kind of stir everything up. We're gonna heat it until it's warm. We don't wanna really bring it to a high boil just because we don't want the coconut milk to burn. We'll throw in about a tablespoon of soy sauce. So again, this is Bragg's Liquid Aminos. It's just a lower sodium soy sauce, non-GMO soybeans. This will really help to flavor up the soup since we're not really adding any seasoning. And once the coconut broth comes to a simmer, we're gonna add in some brown rice noodles. So you can get any brown rice noodles. These are nice, they have a little seaweed in them, so it just adds a little bit more nutrition, a good superfood, or you could even use like an organic udon noodle or even a soba noodle. So we're gonna add a box, about three quarters of a box or so of noodles. And these only take about 30 seconds to a minute to cook. So we just sauteed mushrooms here on the side. Uh, make sure that all the liquid is absorbed and we're gonna add those right in. And then we're gonna add in just some green onions. So this is a nice way to add some color, add some flavor. And then we have some bamboo shoots. So you can just buy these in the can. We're gonna add those right in too. Let it sit maybe a couple minutes and then we're gonna spoon it right into our bowl. So let's start with the noodles. If you like a little bit more broth, add in a little bit more broth. And then we're gonna top it with just a little parsley. Again, adds a nice little color. And then we can serve this with a spoon and a fork or just simply with some chopsticks.